the story went one direction. Yeah. That was an adventure and a half, that was wasn't it? We thought like we have to do palpitations again. <laughs> I remember it again. Oh god. <laughs> that day was intense but beautiful. Hello, Dara Phil. Hello. Hi. How are you both today? Very, Very good, thanks. Great, thanks. We yes. almost got completely rained on so we would look like drowned we rats. We could be moist, Dan and Phil, but thankfully Five not. Five minutes ago. Trust me, no one wants to see that. What a description, no. then. Moist. Don't it. say moist. I've brought interviews. out the M word. It's, it's only word. just started, didn't yeah. I? I'm so sorry. So obviously we need to talk about the very exciting book. Yeah, yeah that's a thing. We've been able to have a top secret look at in advance. To use one of your own questions on yourself, uh -huh. um, what single noise sums up how you're feeling about people actually getting to read the book? <laughs> <laughs> it's like been a build up of, we've been writing it, we've been writing it, it's going to be out soon, oh my god! So that was like a, a building. I felt the entire journey through that noise. Did you? Yeah, yeah well Thanks. done. Thanks. Like this was better. Yeah. Um, so why might people want to spend their hard-earned cash on your book? Because it's good. Um, <laughs> there's something really special about books that I love, They're like the physical object, you know, it's yeah. just like the memory box, you know, the, the whole point of The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire For Us is to really kind of trap everything from the world of Dan and Phil into this one kind of like amazing object for the rest of time so that, like in our book trailer, yeah. you can, you know, have a granddaughter one day and be like, look, there were once these two weirdos called Dan and Phil. Take this beautiful object. Yeah. Also, it lasts a long time. So, in the year 2700, when we've all been hit by an asteroid, that, Inevitably. Book, that book will remain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a physical slice of the internet as well. Physical yes, slice of absolutely. the internet. Also, a nice coaster as well. Always, always been multi purpose. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. A wide coaster. Yeah. It's a two mugger. Maybe for a plate as well. For a mm -hmm. plate mm -hmm. or the j or largest cup of coffee ever. A vat. Yeah. That'd be you, wouldn't it? Mm. Excellent. So how did you decide what was going to go into the book? I think because we were trying to really represent all the most important iconic things from the world of Danafil. We looked at all of our YouTube channels, we thought about all of the adventures that we'd been on, from yeah. like, you know, meeting each other to Radio 1 to the story in <laughs> one direction. Yeah. That was an adventure and a half, no, it wasn't, wasn't it? We thought like we have started to... started palpitations again. <laughs> I remember it again. Oh God. <laughs> That day was intense but beautiful. It was really about taking all the kind of best things we're known for on the internet and all the most amazing stories mm. from our kind of last five years and then putting yeah. them into something. But then we had so many ideas. We had like two A weeks billion. of intense ideas generation. I think we have about 700 pages worth of ideas and then we were we like, were like okay. this is like three books yeah, we, we need, need to, to fit it into it like we were like stamping on it you know like when you got a suitcase and you're like come on get in there we were like yeah. fit in Radio 1 story click yeah. There we go. So maybe you're just going to have to do a sequel book as well? Perhaps, yeah. yeah. Where the suitcase explodes and it goes all over the room. I think we got all the best bits in there though, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And looking back at the finished book, are there kind of any bits that you're particularly pleased with or like are your favourite bits? Ooh, I love all the really creative random things like yeah. the dining chair quiz. That's just so funny. Yeah, I like talking about my university life and my high school life. Help, mm. it, help me like unrepress some of those issues. That, that was already... hard, like digging back into that emotionally. I was like, no, no, I put my high school life in a box and then I put that box under the stairs and now you're asking me yeah. to open it. A lot of it was looking through really old pictures I haven't looked at mm. for years as well, so that was really fun. Like going to my parents' house and going, can I look through the... Looking oh through my you. god, <laughs> oh, no. why am I naked oh, is that on that like? horse? <laughs> Yeah, that one is not in the book. It was really fun to share stories that no one's heard of before and to explain kind of like, you know, the Phil's origin story, because everyone knows mine because I'm quite mm. recent as far as things go. But, it, you know, it's really good to kind of tell some of the stories that people have never heard before in like a long conversational way in a book. I think it's quite exciting because you don't have to worry about how do I sound and look and will people get bored if it's five minutes long? You can yeah. just really kind of, you know, let your soul loose on the page. Mm. Yeah. And um, I really like that you finally got the story of Las Vegas into that. Oh yeah. Thank that you. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will I think not we're... reveal any spoilers about no, that. Not at all. We um, might get into trouble. We might get into trouble. the truths yeah. that we admitted. We, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of things happen in Vegas. Apparently so. Yeah. Um, so what was it like working together? Were there kind of any mini arguments about what was going in, what wasn't going in? We had like, yeah. okay. we, like we set, we had we were in different rooms writing the book, and then so we funny. were on Skype to each other at the same time. Um, because we only have two desks, yeah. and there's like one in my bedroom, and there's one where we film our gaming videos. So we were like, we both need to write at the same time, especially yeah. if we're having like a, a back and forth conversation. So like, what do we do? Is then like Phil said, we just had Skype open on the thing, <laughs> so we were just looking at each other at the thing. I was like, Phil. Bring me my bean. <laughs> so you're closer to the kitchen. No, you're closer to the kitchen. Yeah. So not being in the same room kind of helped a little bit yeah. because then we could like have our own little writing space, but then there'd be a little face that you could mute in the corner. Absolutely. I did it's, mute it's you a few the, times. It's the way to do it. Yeah. I like it. 
good, good process there. Um, and any hints you can give us about what you've got in store for the tour? <laughs> oh, well. oh, pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, really, it's about taking all of everybody's favorite things that we do on YouTube and all of like, the live shows and things that we've done mm -hmm. and turning that into kind of like a live experience that the audience can really get involved in. I'm not saying there's going to be forced audience participation. People were really, like, when we announced <laughs> Don't worry people about were like, I booked a ticket, but are you going to, are you going to bring me up on stage? Everything is consensual. Don't okay. worry. We may be asking you to submit some things. But it, it, it. Should, it should be a really fun, interactive experience for people. Yeah. 